Um, it is anticipated that Harris is likely to propose Gary Gensler for the job of Treasury Secretary. Uh, this is based on the information that is gathered from sources inside the elected Senate. An enormous setback of this size would be experienced by every chief executive officer on the planet, in addition to the whole cryptocurrency community. The claim, on the other hand, does not mislead since it explains that there are sources that say that this is the most probable thing to happen. This suggests that the assertion is not misleading. Several concerns have been raised by Coindesk on this matter, which has led to the publication of a fresh article concerning Gensler's potential candidacy for the job of Treasury Secretary. Because Gensler has not been able to achieve the objectives he has set for himself in the cryptocurrency business. It is not clear if he will be able to progress in his position as chairman of the SEC. And this is because Ginsler has not been successful in fulfilling the goals he has designed for himself. The case of Securities and Exchange Commission v. Ripple is perhaps the most vivid example of this. Uh, according to the reasoning that is offered in the article, the fact that Gensler is unable to take a hammer to the whole cryptocurrency field serves as a terrible reminder of the challenges that he has faced in the cryptocurrency sector. An eager observer of crypto-related topics, the author is circulating a word that KLA Harris may suggest Gary Gensler for the job of Treasury Secretary if she is finally elected at some point in the future. This rumor has been spreading via uh, social media platforms like X and Twitter with the individual who is leading the effort saying that if the Harris administration is elected and they continue their anti-crypto campaign, it will not have any negative effect on people who have XRP. This myth has been making its way around the internet. Uh, after interviewing Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Aldera, J.W. Verrett, published a video clip that was shared on social networking site X by John Deaton's crypto legal firm. The tape was released by J.W. Verrett, by Alderodi Assertions. Even if the SEC chooses to appeal the ruling, it will not have any impact whatsoever on individuals who have XRP since Ripple will be forced to cope with extra complications. It makes no difference what happens since the crypto law account said that the SEC does not have the authority to contest this status because it does not exist in any way, shape, or form. Uh, there are 42 different cryptocurrencies that the author has, and uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission has the power to target all of them. As a result, the author is concerned about the remaining cryptocurrencies that he possesses. That's first fact that Coindesk released an article on the topic, which did a fantastic job of summing up the problem, is another thing that the author brings up in their discussion. If Gensler is appointed to a post at the Treasury, the author assumes that it can take place as a result of the Securities and Exchange Commission's frequent aggressive enforcement efforts and his reluctance to be precise about what is and is not legally allowed concerning digital assets. Gensler is universally despised within the cryptocurrency sector. Gensler, on the other hand, is a candidate who may be well qualified for the position, according to many senior staff members in the Senate, who are of the view that the story is true. Gensler was a professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, in addition to serving as the head of the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Both of these agencies were under Gensler's direction. Uh, it was on Wall Street that Gensler was employed by Goldman Sachs. Concerns have been raised regarding Gensler's intellectual honesty as a result of the fact that his opinions have changed after he became the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, in addition to uh, the ongoing lawsuit. It is difficult for him to be intellectually honest since he has changed his professed ideas in such a short length of time. This makes it hard for him to be honest. The author draws the assumption that Gensler may be running for the same position as Treasury Secretary, and the fact that this possibility is still being discussed is not surprising, especially when one considers the fact that the election is soon to take place. However, the narrative is full of warning indications that any editor who is worth their salt would recognize and immediately mark with red ink. The author is of the view that Gensler's nomination is very unlikely. However, the narrative is full of warning indicators. For instance, the guesses are congruent with what officials of the Republican Party have stated to the reporter in an interview, and the most plausible headline came from members of the Senate staff. The fact that people are reporting what is going on in the rumor mill is not something that the author has a problem with, provided that it is brought to the notice of the reader that it is being reported. Nevertheless, these critiques are still legitimate, even though it is perfectly acceptable to presume and state that someone is entirely content with that information. Several individuals have expressed their disdain and disbelief in response to the notion that Gary Gensler is being considered for the position of Treasury Secretary. 
the founder and chief executive officer of Custodia Bank, Con Long, is one of these individuals. He has written to Conta and me many times to emphasize that the article is not accurate. They have stated that they cover stories that are pushed by interested parties, including lobbyists or operatives with clients, as long as the context is true, fair, and insightful. The Washington Reporter, which appears to be a venerable publication, was founded by Republican political operatives, and they have stated that they cover stories that are pushed by interested parties. The Washington Reporter's suspicious attitude may be traced back to this particular source. The story that was recounted by the Washington Reporter was riveting, yet it was quickly shown to be correct in the following retelling that took place. Democratic lawmakers who are in favor of cryptocurrencies made a concerted effort to show that they're trustworthy when it comes to issues concerning Bitcoin legislation. Chuck Schumer, the leader of the Senate, has pledged to ensure that a measure about cryptocurrencies is approved by the Senate before the year comes to a close. On the other hand, the misconception that may discourage these crypto fans from voting for the Democratic candidate for Treasury Secretary, Guinness is the type of tale that a political strategist may want to promote. There was a paper that explained Kamala Harris's program that was included in the Democratic Party's platform for the year 2024, which was only recently released. However, there was no mention of Bitcoin in the document, even though Democrats have shown that they possess the votes and the financial resources necessary to educate people on policy. They have increased their concentration on anti-crypto measures, which is a startling turn of events. Never before has cryptocurrency been more politically active than it is now. The anti-crypto army with its tentacles and the administrative state is more powerful and determined than was previously supposed, contrary to the widespread notion that it is. Because there's not a single voting block that is hostile to Bitcoin. This is an astounding occurrence. Detailed information on Kamala Harris's goals was included in a document that was written by a political channel known as Ryan Shan Adams. The report was 92 pages long. Throughout the whole of the essay, Bitcoin was never mentioned. It is brought to his attention that even artificial intelligence included a component that did not deal with encryption technology. Because... It is clear that voting against a certain party is against their own best interest and financial interest, especially concerning cryptocurrencies. This is a ridiculous concept when taken into consideration. When it comes to the Democratic Party program, it is of the utmost importance to take them at their word when they assert that they are showing the cryptocurrency community something of consideration. Specifically, this is because the platform continues to pay lip service to other groups. It is not anticipated that this will be advantageous for the cryptocurrency business. But it is not out of the question that Harris may emerge successful if this scenario is carried out. In conclusion, the stories that have been going around about Gary Gensler being selected as the Secretary of the Treasury have generated concerns over the potential impact uh, that this may have on the Bitcoin industry. Although the coverage of the rumor is correct, it is of the highest significance to take into account the potential consequences and the impact that it might have on the community of Bitcoin users. 